right, it's now Monday. We are back. It's back at the industrial design grind. There's a few new faces here. Can you just put your hand up? Thank you, okay. Um, but actually, we don't have a lot of time to talk at the moment because we've got to jump on a bus pretty soon. Alright, so we have to design the bathroom of the future. I think we're going to make cat models of it. Anywho, we are now on our first field trip of the semester. So we're going to this company that we're doing it for. So we're taking a bus right there. So that's where we're headed now. Yay. So, the brief. We have designed a feasible and viable bathroom of the future. And we have to do so in one of three categories. Which is number one, aging population. Number two, urban density. And number three, globalization. We chose number two, urban density. Which means we have to design it within a small floor plan. Which is space saving. So with that in mind, we've got to think of, you know, we've got to look into the future. Just like 20 years into the future or 10 years into the future and think, what is the bathroom going to look like? The end result is that we have to make a CAD model of a full bathroom and exploring some of the further concepts that we came up with. And this is our journey. Okay, so we're now at the Kohler headquarters and we're going to get the brief officially and we're going to find out exactly what they want. So here we go! <laughs> Okay, we have been given the brief in full and now we're on our way back to the studio to start brainstorming, idea mapping, and user case scenarios and all sorts. When we got back, my teammate Jake and I started brainstorming and came up with a whole lot of ideas. We came up with three different floor plans and a whole sleuth of different concepts. But the two ideas we liked the most was a shower that cleaned your bathroom when you left and a soft bath that came up from the ground to save space. Good morning, it's 8am on a Wednesday morning and we're just about to do the first presentation for the future bathroom. So we've got all our slides together and I'm just prepping my quick presentation and we'll be going in in probably roughly an hour. <laughs> Wish us luck. Our next one is time saving. So, what if you had a bathroom that could 100% clean itself? So the way we envision this is that there is a misting shower up in the ceiling. And you know, you get in there and you shower nice. But what's really cool is when you leave, it's on a timer. And what it does is it mists up the whole bathroom. It shoots out a clean fluid into the mist and all the water droplets set on everything. And then it does another rinsing mist. And then there are going to be dryers in the ceiling which dry the whole bathroom. So it's kind of like those new um, brushless car tree. That's still what we're basing it on. Now, the first presentation went well, but they had a few concerns about our soft bath, which they conveyed to us. And the main thing they were worried about is if it's hanging, does it need support, and also if it's made of a thick, of a thick silicon, that's not going to insulate the water and the temperature in the actual bath will drop very quickly, which is not what you want. So, we had a lot of thinking ahead of us, but after a bit of me and Jake knocking our heads together, we came up with some really, really cool solutions, and we made the bath even better. So we worked out all of the different insulations everything, we did a ton of research on that. I won't show that in the video. But what was really cool is we thought of a way that we could design the bath to adjust to your body shape. For example, if you wanted to bathe just a little toddler in the bath, you could bring it in, instead of it going all the way down and filling it with tons of water, you can just make it go down a little bit and fill it with a little bit of water. And the way we're going to do that is with a cable system, which I will explain with my nifty prototype I made. Q prototype! Alright, so I need to make a prototype for how we think this soft bath, how the mechanics is going to work. And the cool thing about prototypes is that they don't have to look beautiful, all they got to do is they got to answer a question. Out of the efficiency of time and a bit of fun, we are going to make our prototype out of <laughs> Lego. Because as a kid, I accumulated a lot of this stuff, and now we have a chest, a literal chest, full of it. I get to play with Lego. Yay! After a few hours of playing with Lego, we finally have <laughs> the very rough but working prototype. So this is going to be how the bath 
takes its shape. So at the moment I have all these tiles, that's springy, and they all run through with these pieces of thread here. And depending on how much you tighten or loosen these, you'll be able to get the shape of your bath. So if you loosen some of these middle ones, for example, the middle part would go down, and if you tighten these ones, that would come up. So it's sort of like you'll be able to... So imagine if all these cords were attached like motors, and then you'd be able to set the different heights and depth of your bath, depending on what you wanted. Very rudimentary, but it works, and it shows the thought process, and that's exactly what you want from a prototype. It's not supposed to look pretty. It's just supposed to answer your question. Now I need to practice my rendering of the bathroom, which is something I'm a bit nervous about because I've never really done this before, but it should be fun. So this was my first real attempt to render something in 3D. So it was a huge learning curve for me. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding the materials to all the different components in the setup. So I'm adding bamboo to the underside of the bath, silicon to the top, a bit of chrome, a bit of ceramics, and then a bit of wood to the cupboards. There is actually a great video on YouTube about how to render in Fusion 360 and I'll put a link to it in the description below. One thing I love about rendering in 3D is it's very similar to setting your product up for a photo shoot in a studio. For example, I'm adding light to this object in the corner that will shine through the window. Then I add a few more lights on the inside and start rendering. I can see that that's too bright so I turn the brightness of the lights down and do a few more renders until I get the final result. Very nice. The main hero render is done and it looks oh so good. Here we go. Yeah buddy. That's the bar. Quite happy with that. At this point I really need to give a shout out to Jake as he did all the 3D modeling for this project as he is a whiz in the area and he did such a good job on the bath. I mean look at it. And then here's the bath again flat and then slightly down to bathe the toddler and then fully down to take a bath. Then, when not in use, the bath can roll up into the wall to give you extra floor space. And now we have the renders of our self-cleaning shower. Here it is misting, and here it is with the jets out drying the room. Then we also designed a storage unit where all the drawers would pop in, so when the shower was on its misting cycle, nothing would get wet. And then we also rendered a tap, sink, and the water meter. And finally, a nice moody shot to show the sink away when the bath is out. Right, I really hope you enjoyed this video. One thing that I learned from this whole process is that rendering in 3D is not hard. Before I did it, I had this concept that rendering nice images was going to be tough. But it's not. It's insanely easy. I used Autodesk Fusion 360 to do all the rendering and it was, oh, such a charm. Pleasure to work with. Oh, the other thing is that this bathroom that we did is for a competition that is run by Cola. And if we win, we win five grand and a trophy and publicity, which is gonna be great. So we put in a ton of effort and I really hope we win. And I'll let you guys know on that front. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. And I can guarantee you this next one is gonna be super helpful and super cool. I'm putting a lot of effort into it. All right, see you guys later. Boy. Boy.